Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Cheers to our friendship. Yeah, never stops. Never stops, always fighting. Always. Oh, my hair is cut off, so you need to fix that. Take two. Can you sit down on the ground? No. Why? Because it's very like that's how you do a mukbang. Mukbang. Are we doing a mukbang? <laughs> Where's the food? Can you just get on the I ground? I just don't want to sit on the dirty ground. It's not dirty. Can it's... we live this? Oh my god. A different levels, Harper. Okay, so take three. Are you gonna sit like that? Not for now. <laughs> Do you like that level? I like this. This is cute. Take three. Are they gonna need to see the food? Yes, that's why I had oh, it low. Oh, okay, fine. Look, I'll just get. A... No, you know what? It's Wait. fine. We'll hold it up. We'll go like that. No, they need to see us eating it. I, I, I don't want to sit on the ground. So, I'm... where's the towels? That's too high, put it back down. And do you know when the food's coming? It's fine, right? Reese has never watched a mukbang before and it doesn't understand that it's really not about the visually aesthetic people who are doing the eating. It's about the conversation and intention behind it. <laughs> okay, so as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be doing a mukbang. Mukbang. We're gonna be eating a lot of food. I can't believe I haven't filmed a video with Reese since he's moved to LA. And I'm starving, so I'm sorry if I don't get one word in. It's from Shake Shack, so Shake Shack is like an LA staple. If you're a loyal and dedicated subscriber follower, um, pre-show watcher, then you know that I gave Reese a hard time when he said that he was going to be vegetarian. I didn't think he could do it, because I know how much he likes dark meat. He hasn't given that up, but Never. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shake Shack actually has veggie burgers, and so we are going to be doing a Shake Shack vegetarian mukbang. And then I put up on my Instagram um, for you guys to ask us questions, but um, it really just seems like a lot of work to like answer them and like put a picture up and then like make it funny and creative like on that. So like they're asking them on my Instagram, but we're answering them here. Okay. I'm into it, and I haven't eaten meat once. It's... Like he's been doing the damn thing. Yeah. I mean, it's easy. Like, LA, the people are kind of like. There's a lot. Yeah. Like, what did you do the other day? We were, I was like. He just gives me shit for, like, not drinking enough water. Like, I'm like an evil. I mean, you don't drink water. You I drink, drink it. Enough. I do. Water is the essence of youth. Hard And it hydrates everything. What's my last name? Waters. <laughs> you almost didn't know my last name. No, I had to think for a second. Was it Darren or Waters? <laughs> oh my god. Go so the food is almost here, so we'll um, get the food, and then we'll um, show you the food, and then we'll... Oh, we'll just answer the questions while we do that. Okay. Let's See you in a answer. second. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Did you really just do that? That was a joke, right? You don't actually do that. Sometimes. I don't know. Please. <laughs> Oh my god. Look at all the ketchup. We got. It smells. It's rain and man. Incredible. We got um, two veggie burgers, a shroom burger, um, four french fries, a milkshake, and a 50 50. Mm. A 50 50 is like half lemonade. I'm a 50 50. Lies you tell. Oh, wait. Did you get veggie with no pickles or anything? Uh huh. I just ate into that one. That's okay. So there's yours. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> See, I was it's all say, gone. So, like, there's nothing on this. What do you think? Yeah. It's just like it's more veggie, but Look it's Look at it. It's like red inside. It's, Yum. It's beets and like um, I think there's beans in it. It's really good. Mm. Okay, Reese. How's life in LA? We're going in deep first. Life in LA is honestly amazing. I think I needed it. The weather, the people, some of the people. 
um, being with my boyfriend, just keeping my fitness up and health and training, it's, I, I, I need it, I, I'm really enjoying it. Sometimes a professional ballet company just isn't for everybody. And then sometimes, it's just like the company. And the thing that happens to a lot of people, you get sucked, not sucked in, but you get caught up in one company and you think it's your life calling and you think that yeah. that's the only place you can be in your life. Because of how they make you feel. Like if you're not yeah. used, and you automatically feel, well, I can't be used anywhere. Uh, if you're not dancing the way you want or the roles you want, you feel like you you aren't good enough to be in another company at all. So, so you just stay and you and you, and you deal up. with it. I, I And I did that for six years. And six years is a lot of time. Yep. And it was time for me to go. Is that cheese in it? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I can't stand in the shroom burger. The cheese in the center. Look at it. I love that it. That is cow pus. <laughs> you had a love of your life. You have other aspirations that couldn't be met in Houston. Mm -hmm. and, the, and we all miss him. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what? I know. Oh, you said I know. Or have we ever hooked up? Why is that always the question? Yes. <laughs> can you hand me? Can you hand me the chicken dog? Sorry, I had to get something that wasn't vegetarian. I had. I love hot dogs. Like I love hot dogs, and I love hot dogs. So I really wanted to try this. No sauce. I love it plain. Mm. I'm very simple. Um, ages ago we hooked up, like, um, like literally seven years ago when we first started to be friends. Our first two months of New Year. Mm -hmm. Boys at that age are curious and horny. Boys at my age, at your age. Babe! You have no excuse, Shit. honey! <laughs> literally three years. Mm. Not even. Did you want to try the shroom burger? Mm -mm. It's battered, it's crispy, it's good. If you were a superhero, what kind of superhero would you want to be? I fucking am a superhero. We're all superheroes. We defy gravity. Right? We defy gravity. We def defy people's perceptions. Mm hmm. Stereotypes. Oh, you think we're flamboyant and gay because we're ballet dancers? Yes. Yeah, we are. <laughs> What is, what are, what's your like favorite music right now at the moment? I love the Carters, I love Ape Shit. Mm. I love Black Effect. Mm. Um, the whole Years and Years album, for me, Reese isn't into it that much, but okay. I, all the songs on Years and Years, obsessed. Um, Ariana has been doing some interesting stuff. I need it, I need the volume and like, gay, like majesticism, like turned up a little bit. Um, Chun Li, Dua Lipa. What's that song you showed me by Zayn? Everyone's like, what artist is Chun Li? Oh, the song by Nicki Minaj. Oh, Let Me by Zayn. How hot is he? Hot, but he's a mess. I love Drake's new album. Can't stop listening to it. The best is Finesse After Dark and In My Feelings. And Beyonce. <clears throat> oh, and Leon Bridges. I know he's a, he's been around for a while, but I love his music. Favorite queen ever on RuPaul's Drag Race? <laughs> <laughs> really? No. I'm bleeping that out. Yeah. I like my ultimate favorite, Alyssa Edwards. Mm. But then there's some like queens who like for like I also I'm obsessed with Naomi Smalls just because I feel like she's my favorite. I look like her the most, mm. and so I connect with her because I was like, if I ever really do drag, I think I'd want her to put me in drag. Who else do I look? Wi <laughs> look wise for me, it's Naomi Smalls. But overall, like queen, I think Bianca Del Rio is yeah. so funny, and I think she is what a lot of drag queens like want to be and look up to. Courtney Act. Oh, Courtney Act. Fellow Aussie, love her. Love you, Shane. Yeah, she was just on Big Brother in the UK and like, 
she kind of destroyed her Mean Girl edit from RuPaul's Drag Race and came across, because she is, just incredibly intelligent about really like sensitive topics and mm. hearing her talk about that was like really cool. <clears throat> you both are awesome. Thank you so much. As for Harper, what do you plan to do after Houston Ballet? Girl, these questions are for me. Reese, <laughs> what's the next big thing for you? After Houston Ballet, LA, building my empire, digital media, LGBT activism, mm. and um, dance, but in a different capacity than Houston Ballet. I hate the question though, like, what do you want to do after ballet? Or like, because it's like, I feel like now certain opportunities. I feel like I was summing it up. Sorry, I just feel like, <laughs> don't you feel like, it's like you can't have like a strict answer no, anymore. There's no, it's like it's about where life takes you and what you feel at that moment. And how would you do, like you want to merge ballet with fashion and with photography and yeah. projects and so, it's like. And that's a very vast thing. You can't be like, okay, I'm going to do this, this and this. Because you have it envisioned here, but no one's really like. Pretty much we both have concepts of where we want to be, but there's no like, What's the next step? It's no X, Y, or Z. It's, it's about trusting yeah. what we're doing now. And I mean, my my next thing, I, I want to still dance. So my next thing is about going, like, seeing what company is right for me and where I want to move. That's pretty much my next step. Good I, I ain't done dancing, that's for sure. What's your favorite Disney Pixar movie? Is Pixar? Is that is is Coco? Did you see Coco? Yeah, it's amazing. But I cried last, last night on the plane. And he never cries. Ever. I mean, I'll cry in an emotional situation. Yeah. I'm the best crier. No, you're not. I'm the best crier. Like, I'm like, I will pull on your... <laughs> I will pull on your heartstrings. No, not really. Because I'm good with my words. When When's the last time you saw me cry? Have you ever? Yes, yeah, I've Oh my cry. god, I've cried. Endless. Endless times. Do you remember that one time? That was... So many car cries. Cars. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use so many Black Santa. Yeah. I was trying to make... No, you're not saying all about Black Santa. You're fucking taking that out. I'm putting it in. No, you're not. I'll leave this part in and people will have to know what we're talking okay. about. Sorry guys, I have a knee injury. That's not ketchup. Oh, this makes it sound like we're dating. Okay, we're not, so. Babe. Everyone thinks we are. Oh my gosh. So he has a pool at his apartment complex and we were out just like sitting by the pool. Reese was like doing laundry at the outside laundry thing. The guy comes to me and goes, making him do all the work. You just sit here and, and I was like. I'm not in I was like, I'm not in dark. Where are my black people at? Does that happen to you? Do, they, do you guys just get like lumped together? I also was like, thank you so much. Well, I think body types have a lot to do with it and hair. I mean, Indar has has had that hair and he has a lean And I also body. have a stunning model physique, so. Okay. Debatable. <laughs> um, top or bottom? What? No. Next. God, it's the question of the century. What is it with you people? I think I pretty much made that freaking clear. Mm -hmm. um, All you have to do is start talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talking like you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't sound the same, so. We don't sound the same, so. <laughs> Next. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are we done mm -hmm. with a mukbang? I don't really know if we did this right, but I don't really th think there's rules to a mukbang, but um, we enjoyed eating with you. I hope you enjoyed catching up with us. I hope that um, you realize that Reese is still alive, he's still dancing, and we're still friends. Nothing's changed, I just don't live there, and I'm not in the company. <laughs> so, so everything's changed. Everything's changed, but, but he's still in good company. Thank you for tuning in, and staying loyal, and dedicated, and subscribed. And Oh my god, my camera's dying. Oh my god, oh my god. We um, love you so much for watching. I'm really full. <laughs> stay full, but stay flawless, stay fabulous. 
Um, stay flexible, but most importantly, stay fierce. No! What is it? Fearless! It's just like a little catch up, you know? Catch up with some. Catch up. That was dumb. Okay, love you. <laughs> Bye. That is such good marketing. This event is called CrushCon, um, that I'm a part of. They gave us crush soda. Do you see what they did there? Crush and crush. That's why they're Target. That is why they're Target. I'm blown away. Am I Trisha Paytas yet?